morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I slept so, so well. I'm down at my parents' countryside house still. <laughs> And uh, there is something, you know, relaxing about, like, I grew up here, we had this place since I was two years old, and it's such a safety zone. It's, uh, it's like uh, in a little village where, when I was young, there were cows and, and um, a farm, you know, where we, like, was, like, hanging out with the cows and milking and, like, uh, participating in that sincere kind of farm lifestyle. Uh, I'm very happy that I... I grew up with nature. When we were young, the house was much smaller, so we couldn't really spend time inside. We were always outdoors when we were here, playing, you know, every day, all day outdoors. It was such a blessing. And I, I, I don't think I understand, I understood then, but I do understand now what a gift that is to have um, spent my childhood out in nature. And we were like sleeping on the haystack, you know, and and building like tunnels and stuff up there <laughs> uh, like a real little yeah like a really like a countryside girl um, and uh, that get, g gives me a groundedness that I need in these times and it's so wonderful to be outside and work in the garden and just be close to my parents you know even though we try to keep a social distance but but um, I sleep in a little house on my own and uh, I feel very very happy to be here oh, like uh, I found some peace you know um, we're gonna do a bit of yoga I'm, I'm very grateful to uh, have the ability to come here I'm very grateful that we are in Sweden now where we have this special kind of uh, of social distancing I think the the plan is to let the virus spread but slower so it's recommendations to you know to not go outside but we're not forbidden to do so it's not a lockdown and i get i, I think we get a lot of criticism from that but uh it seems like it's working quite well uh i also believe that routines keeping you know keeping life going is extremely important for for sanity and if we don't have sanity i think the virus is more dangerous than anything else um so i feel grateful to live in sweden uh at this very moment and to be close to my family I just imagine how it would have been if I was still living in France I would have been scared in a different way and I lived in an apartment there, a small apartment just at the ocean but you know it was a small apartment with no balcony or anything like that it would have been uh, terrible uh, anyways I'm also grateful for the sun to be able to be to do yoga here on the on the terrace in the sun and that it's quite warm on the other side just around the corner it's so windy so it's freezing the wind is really really cold but here i'm like in the in the oh god my english is getting so where there is no wind <laughs> i think before you know i was speaking english every day and my friends was american and my boyfriend was french i was like constantly using um, english but now i have a swedish boyfriend i speak swedish with my colleagues with my um, my friends everywhere in my family so my English is kind of like it's getting here you know it's not the up here anymore so I'm sorry for that and we are um, I'm also grateful for um, for yoga what a gift it is in these days huh? to to um, be grounded and uh, landing in your body and uh, try to keep some kind of um, uh, reality check Thanks for, for joining me. We're gonna do it. So get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye, the penis.
we're gonna start taking control over our breath on the inhalation feel how your belly is expanding and in yoga I, I start to forget this because I teach every day we always breathe in and out through the nose so inhale feel how your belly is expanding exhale drag your belly button towards the spine inhale Beautiful. We're gonna come back to this breathing eventually, but before we're gonna do the breath of fire and we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and fast. Inhale to the spine. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the hip road. In and forward. Exit back. In and forward. Exit back. This is where we do the morning coffee. But I need to keep a distance. And we're gonna switch direction. Beautiful. We're gonna do a shoulders roll. Inhale up and back. Exhale down and forward. We're going to switch direction. Beautiful. We're going to come to all our fours. 
Place your hands straight underneath your shoulders. Place your knees straight underneath your hips. On the inhalation, come forward with your belly. Look how that's. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna come down on our belly and we're gonna work in the Sphinx. And the Sphinx, we try to push our chest forward, try to relax in our, in our back. And don't get back with your head, just keep it like this and look halfway up the ceiling or sky if you're outside like me. Shoulders back as much as you can. Come down, just relax here for a little bit. Mm. We're gonna work with a, a very nice strengthener for our back. So we're gonna come up with the chest and hold our arms back like this, and we're gonna lift our legs. Exhale, come down and put your other cheek towards the mat and just relax for a few breaths. We're gonna come forward with our arms. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna lift our legs and our arms like this. come down and push back to down not down dog to child's pose oh yeah time is flying yeah? rest for a few breaths here mm. we're gonna do a little bit longer class today because I just really feel like I need to do a wide-legged forward bend. So, moving into the table. So here, um, get down on your sitting bones, straighten your back up and see if you can grab your big toes. If not, you grab your legs and you can bend them a little bit too. But on the inhalation, straighten up. On the exhalation, come further down. Try to keep a straight back. You don't want to come here. Keep it up here. So where you want the stretch to be here in your hamstrings, not in the back. Exhale. 
eenheid kan vallen. Come to Taylor's position. Straighten your back up, close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come, only you in this very moment. Slowly come back to the room where you are. We're going to finish place class together with three shanty. Place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Place your palms to your forehead for you to think good thoughts through the day, to your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. Thank you so, so much for today. I love you guys. And remember to go out there and give. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.